hi welcome to teacher time today today we're going to be drawing a baby fox so at home you're going to need your tan paper a pencil to draw with and we want to put our paper vertically nice and tall i'm going to be drawing with a black marker so you can see my lines a little bit easier if at any time you need to pause the video stop the video or rewatch part of it feel free to do that work at your own pace okay so to start with our baby fox we're going to draw a nice big curved line that kind of looks like a letter U. It's going to take up most of our top half of our paper. From there, we'll draw two lines that are diagonally sloping in and then connect them. This is the fox's head. From there, I'll come here and draw a curved little line. Next, more curved lines. and eyes. I'm going to add eyelashes to mine. Okay. Next, we're going to draw two more curved lines to start drawing the fox body. Those are going to come down from the head. And then we're going to extend this line and have it go all the way down by the bottom and come all the way back up. Notice that those two lines do not touch or connect. There's going to be some space in between there because that's actually where we're going to be drawing the tail. Okay, so from there I'm going to draw a zigzag line for the part of the tail and come up here and also add details to the ears. Okay, now when you look at your fox drawing it takes up most of your paper, it should, um, but it kind of looks a little silly because it's just floating on the page. There's nothing around it to show where the fox is or what it's doing. One easy way to fix this is to draw a line from the left side of our page until you get to the fox. You're going to stop and then continue from the other side of the fox to the other edge of the page. That will give you a more complete picture and it will look as though the fox is actually sitting or resting on something. Okay. Now what you can do, are, since we have our space mostly filled up, your job as the artist now is to go ahead and finish the picture. What are you going to put around the fox? How are you going to color the fox in? Is it going to look like a real fox with realistic colors? Or is it going to be a more interesting fox with fun colors? 